outside of the arena, plenty of protesters gathered to have their voices heard. CBS 4's Hank Tester continues our coverage with their messages tonight. Hank? Well, it was a huge turnout for President Donald Trump. There was a protest, not a huge protest, but vocal. Let's take a look. Donald Trump has got to go. Hey, hey, ho, ho. Donald Trump in town, and these folks are ready. Wherever Trump goes, so go the protesters. In this politically divided nation, it appears that Donald Trump's the straw that stirs the drink, and protesters react. You've been a crook all your life. You've been stealing from the poor. You've been robbing uh, uh, union workers. Go to jail. Just get it over with. So what motivates voter citizens to take a day off from work or interrupt retirement to trek to a Trump event and protest? We've had three years of catastrophic policies at every level, social and environmental. I, f I firmly believe that if we sit back and wait for 2020 and the Democrats to save us, we are completely doomed. Trump won Florida in 2016. He's got to do it again. And that's what stirs the passion of the opposition. These folks hot for impeachment, but know the realities. I think that voting him out is what we really need to do, but I really think that we also need to impeach him. As we have said over and over, we can walk and chew gum at the same time, so we can do both. Representative Debbie Wasserman Schultz weighs in to fire up the crowd. In a year from now, we will make it very clear how Floridians and how Broward County feels about Donald Trump and what he's done to our country. Well, Donald Trump is going to probably campaign often here in South Florida. This crowd will probably be right there also. That's the very latest. I'm Hank Tester, CBS 4 News. Back to you.